Why does culture matter? Why does culture matter? Culture operates at many levels within an organization and can be one of the greatest causes for success or failure when leaders want to change. Whether it's a new business strategy, an acquisition, or new leaders joining an organization, culture plays a role in the outcome of every aspect of organizational life. Why does culture matter to you? Here's three examples. You are responsible for leading a project at work. The organizational culture is either supportive or opposed. If you don't understand the impact of culture, you have an increased risk of diminished project returns. Second example, you're evaluating candidates for a position. How a candidate fits with the culture will make or break their success. One of our clients has terminated the last two people who were in the senior VP of HR role because they did not fit the culture. It's expensive to hire the wrong people. It's disruptive to the organization and dishonoring to the candidate that doesn't fit. Do your cultural due diligence and make sure there's a right fit. Third example, you see a new opportunity that you want to pursue. If the culture doesn't support who you are, you will struggle to be effective and achieve your intended outcomes. Culture can make or break your career. When you're looking for a new opportunity, be sure to ask questions that help you understand whether the culture is a good fit for you and whether it suits you. Culture is like the air. It's all around you, but you may not notice it until it becomes toxic. The better the air, the better you'll perform. There's a pattern in the actions and activities that lead to high-performing, agile cultures. When an organization consistently builds and reinforces such a culture, it creates a competitive edge. We've talked with multiple clients in a variety of industries and a range of sizes. They are all struggling with a common issue. How do we continue to produce positive results now while we build for future success in a changing environment? The answer is in the essence of who they are. It's all about their culture. Culture is the shared pattern of belief and behavior that create an outcome. When it's time to change the outcome, it's time to change the culture. You cannot define a new strategy and expect success without addressing culture. Here's three simple steps to culture success. Step number one, assess where you are and how you rate against other high-performing cultures to get an accurate understanding of your current reality. An assessment will reveal your organizational strengths. Step two, define your future reality. What strengths will you need to build on and what needs to be redefined or restructured to achieve the future reality? Many organizations are recognizing the need to be agile or adapt to a variety of changing environmental factors. This requires culture change to incorporate new beliefs and behaviors. Step three is align what you do and what you say. To achieve culture change, there are a series of alignment steps that support employees as they build on strength and transition to new beliefs and behaviors. Maintaining this alignment is one of the most challenging aspects of culture change. It requires continuous reinforcement and realignment. We put together the culture activators to help leaders leverage the power of culture. Download this resource to build on your brilliance and help you increase your leadership confidence and effectiveness. Bright on with Brighton Leadership.